Hello, and welcome to the U.S. Army Baylor University Doctoral Program in Physical Therapy, or the DPT program. Our program traces its history back to World War I, when the Army established a program to train women to help restore physical function to injured soldiers. These graduates, known as Reconstruction Aides, established the physical therapy profession we know today. After the war in the fall of 1922, a formalized physical therapy course began at Walter Reed General Hospital and received its first accreditation in 1928. In 1948, the physical therapy course was moved to the U.S. Army Medical Department Center and School located at Fort Sam Houston in San Antonio, Texas. In 1971, the program affiliated with the Graduate School of Baylor University, granting a Master's in Physical Therapy. In July 2002, our program was accredited to grant a Doctor of Physical Therapy degree and the first DPT class graduated in April 2006. The mission of the DPT program not only develops, trains, and educates military medical personnel, but also prepares our students to perform, produce, and utilize research in their clinical practice. Our research mission sustains an environment where students and faculty work side by side to develop research questions concerning musculoskeletal injuries that occur in the military. The DPT program is seeking motivated and talented individuals, well prepared in their undergraduate education, who will serve in two professions. First, as a military officer, and second, as a physical therapist. All selected applicants will be graduate students of Baylor University. The best qualified applicants are selected based upon performance on entrance requirements. Following a selection board, Army applicants will enter the Army Medical Specialist Corps. New Army students arrive in September and complete the eight-week AMED Basic Officer Leadership course designed to instruct students on the basics of being an Army Medical Department Officer. Navy applicants will enter the Navy Medical Service Corps and attend Officer Development School a five-week course in Newport, Rhode Island. It provides instruction in naval organization and leadership. Students then transition to Fort Sam Houston to attend the two-week orientation class. Following a selection board, Air Force applicants complete required medical officer training and enter the Air Force Biomedical Science Corps. Air Force students then transition to Fort Sam Houston to attend the two-week orientation class with their Army and Navy classmates. The AMED Center and School's 18-month didactic phase is taught using a regional approach where students study one region of the body at a time. They learn the anatomy, examination, diagnosis, and treatment specific to that particular region of the body before moving on to the next region. In the first semester, students learn the fundamentals of how to interview a patient, take their medical history, carry out a physical examination, develop an exercise treatment, select an appropriate physical agent such as electrical stimulation, ultrasound, or cryotherapy, and apply each treatment. In the lab, students learn and perform exams of the hip, knee, ankle, and foot regions while learning how to instruct patients to ambulate with assistive devices such as canes, crutches, and walkers, and how to use physical agents. Research Methods 1 is the first of three research courses in which students learn principles in research design and methodology. Students are introduced to their research projects and assist in design, subject recruitment, and data collection. In the Anatomy 1 course, DPT students use the dedicated cadavers they will have throughout the 18-month course to learn and dissect the anatomy of the hip, knee, ankle, and foot regions. A benefit of the regional approach allows students to perform a supervised exam of a patient within eight weeks of the start of the program and occurs towards the end of each region of study. At the conclusion of each region, students perform a practical examination which tests clinical patient care skills. In the second semester, students focus on regions of the spine and upper extremity. They are also learning how to care for patients in a hospital setting, 
principles of wound care and treatment of amputees. In the lab, students practice regional exams of the cervical spine, shoulder, elbow, wrist, and hand, while learning manual therapy techniques to include assessing joint mobility and spinal manipulation. In Anatomy 2, students continue cadaver dissection of the spine and upper extremities while using models and prosections for reference. Research Methods 2 continues as students collect and analyze data for their research projects and begin the process of preparing their results for publication. Upon completing the second semester, students spend eight weeks in an actual physical therapy clinic under the supervision of a physical therapist. Students perform examinations, develop treatment plans, and learn advanced techniques for their clinical instructors. In the third semester, having completed all regional studies, students focus on the cardiopulmonary and nervous systems. They learn about the pediatric stages of development and geriatric care. Lab instruction continues with students applying concepts of neurorehabilitation, pediatric assessment, and geriatric intervention. Students study prosections, models, and their cadavers during neuroanatomy coursework. Additional lab time is offered during the third semester as students begin to prepare for their comprehensive oral examination. Research Methods 3 continues as students complete the process of preparing their results, developing poster and platform presentations, oral research presentations, and individual research defense. Upon completing the third semester, students must pass a comprehensive oral examination in order to continue to the clinical internship phase of the doctoral program. A 12-month internship is performed at a military or civilian physical therapy clinic under the guidance of a clinical instructor. Here, students begin to evaluate and treat patients in order to integrate the concepts of examination diagnosis and treatment learned during the didactic phase. Today's U.S. Army Baylor University DPT program continues the rich history of military medical training for the Army, Navy, and Air Force physical therapists who will care for the health of United States military personnel at home and during their deployments. Our top-ranked program produces physical therapists who are leaders in clinical care, research, and military medicine. Visit our website for more information on program requirements and the application process. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about the U.S. Army Baylor University Doctoral Program in Physical Therapy.